leads. Uh, for those that wonder too, I still use a chisel um, just to help clean. Makes it just um, a little bit uh, tidy. Comes up really neat too actually and it's just a little bit easier on the body, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, this is only pine so it sort of rips, rips through pretty easy but I've done a lot of hardwood with it as well and it uh, work, works a treat. Um, today I've got to mark out some uh, posts and uh, mortar some out. I've already started on this one. Uh, you can see I just mark it uh, and run it with a saw and then um, then I just sort of come back and cleaned up. It's not quite finished yet. But I use this, I use my circular saw first to get my angle cuts and then I use this to clean up. Um, very, very good handy, handy saw. You've seen me use it on hardwood before. Rips through the pine brilliantly. Just to give you a bit of a demo, I'm trying to one hand it a bit hard. But... If you haven't used one of these before, I recommend uh, you give a bit of money and do this. Because it, uh, it is so worth, worthwhile. Makes life really simple to clean up. I would recommend definitely getting one. So again, I just clean these up with the um, circular saw. Then I clean that part with the chainsaw. Um, looks really neat. Some people don't. Everybody likes to do things differently. But then I just put a bit of arras on them as well. We got the arras on the on the back of the post. You can't quite see it there. Probably see it there a bit better. Clean them up. We've had some uh, issues here today, big holes, big posts, um, yeah, but they come up really good, really neat, nice and tidy for your rails to slip in at the back, because this is going to be a heritage fence, and I'll show you some progress later, that, that just sort of worked in like that, I'm going to sit in there, put the gates on, and they'll be bloody perfect.